Alright, welcome back everyone, I'm Morali, and this is part 8, so <laughs> I it's been a couple days since I recorded, but we're I'm rapidly uh, uploading and releasing those, so we're having like one episode a day uh, go up, and I think I'm going to keep that trend going for now, I mean, I don't know, uh, just for those of you that don't know, I'm starting a new job, so I don't know how much that's going to get in the way. Um... And one other thing I, I do want to say before I s really get into it here, I, I think, like, the series might not be that long, because we're actually rapidly going through it. Not saying that we're, like, almost done with it or anything, like, not even at all, but, um, I was thinking this might be my longest series, but I might be wrong on that. I, I think, I, I think uh, it might not be my longest series, but, yeah, we'll, ha we'll have to see, you know, uh, there's, like, extra things that I can do, and... You know, we'll, we'll see how much I can squeeze out. And we do have that extra story that I didn't really consider. Uh, Alright, so last episode, <clears throat> we uh, were trying to save Juju, right? And we had this whole, like, prediction thing, and we learned another power, uh, which was speed, which increases our, like, evasion. And uh, we were able to save Sharla, but this new metal face mechon that can actually speak popped up and took Juju. And was like, yeah, I'm in Colony 6. If you guys want to wanna see him, uh, you guys got to come to Colony 6. Uh, you know, if you want to save him or whatever, you got to come over there. So, uh, we come to Colony 6, but we're blocked off. We can't, we can't go in to Colony 6. The door is closed, and we have to go through the sewer system, or like the mine underneath, which has like a thing. Like an outlet. So, we have some Nopon here. Uh, I haven't done anything since the last episode, so there's no, no changes in anything. I, I haven't done anything. Because the only reason I, like I said, the only reason I did that little leveling um, situation was because of this boss battle that we had. Which I told you guys I kind of got stuck at for a little bit. So it was just something where I'm like, mm, I really like, uh, you know, I want to be prepared. I want to make sure that we can get this and, you know, get it, get it. Done. Okay, I can't equip any of this. Great. Good job. Uh, do we have anything to level? Oh, we can level up some stuff. Let's level up some Monado arts. I would like to level up Enchant because it increases the duration that it lasts, which is really nice. Uh, we're going to fight more Mechon in the future at some point, and it'll be really nice to be able to just go into these battles having uh, this like just last longer so i don't have to worry about constantly enchanting all my friends all right so we have a merchant here i don't know i didn't know that i didn't even realize so um we have the phalanx that was equipped um i don't know if any of this stuff is like better than what i have uh, I did buy all of the equipment. Yeah, they're all like if they're better in one in one thing, they're Oh, but we have these. Uh let's buy some of these. I don't know if I have enough money. I don't. Alright, I I do need to sell some stuff to buy the manuals. So let's buy some or sell some stuff, I mean. We didn't get that much. I haven't battled that much. Is that enough? I, I didn't look. Yeah. Alright, cool. So we have some arts uh, that... And all you have to do is buy those manuals and you don't have to do anything. All you do is you go into your arts and then boom, it tells you right there. Okay, all of these now have their second level unlock, which is really nice. So we can, we can as we fight, we're going to get into a lot of fights here now. Uh, cause we're, as we're going into the mine, ooh, look at that, she can, I didn't even do any of that stuff here. Um, does this, the cooldown does get reduced, heal blast, that's the huge heal. Cure bullet, does any, like, debuffs, okay. Shield, shields you for a lot, actually. Um, I do want a metal blast, metal blast and... Uh, metal Blast, straight line in front of you. That is what the range is, distance is long, critical hits to flying enemies. Two attack combo. Now, I, I don't know, the damage on here, 
So this is a physical attack, and this is an ether attack. Now, I think the ether is better for her because we're increasing... Remember, all of her stuff here, you can look, the attributes on all of her healing is all ether based. So, it is important for us to keep, to, to, you know, if we're focusing on one thing, it helps us. Because when we look at the equipment, for example, uh, she ended up getting that ether three, uh, ether up three, and she has an ether up two on here, right? So, we're increasing her ether, so we kind of want to make sure that we highlight her ether attacks. And we might exchange some of those physical attacks. Um... I do want to look at collectibles because I didn't even look. So we have a new Collectopedia page. It's really small because Colony 6, and we'll get more into Colony 6, but uh, there, there's just not that much to, to see here. So we have Verdant Eternity. Shulk mulled over this for ages. A leaf that never withers. Oh, that's pretty cool. And a White Knight Rod. Ryan was able to name this quickly. It's a white shiny metal rod. And we got Aether Defense up too. Nice, okay. And then we have a cute orchid and a spirit clematis. Okay. All right, cool. I like to read the strange ones because I'm always like, who named this? I want to know who named this and why. Why did they name this? All right. So we're going down into the mine, which we're going to have uh, a lot of... I want to say there's a lot of mechon fights down there. Before we go there, though, we have to go across all of that. And there is a lot of, like, side areas where I think we can find like items and stuff. So we have a little elevator here. We're gonna go down the elevator. Oh, Ryan almost didn't make it. That's okay. He would have teleported to us. Aliu, why are you jumping? I'm literally just walking around the elevator. All right, splintered path. Uh, any items around here? No, nope. okay. Uh, it's raining, so we're gonna kind of leave it. We've had a lot of uh, sunshine and stuff, but it's just raining. I don't think it's thundering. I don't see any sun, uh, lightning and thunder. I just see uh, rain, so. Uh, I don't know where the birds all went. Are they not here during the rain? Is that what they're telling us? Uh, probably. Oh, this guy's attacking us. That's okay. We're way higher level. Uh, we've been doing a really good job with being... That, that's another reason why I didn't want to grind anymore and do extra side quests, because... We've been not out leveling the content, but we're pretty up there. You know, we're we're pretty strong. Ooh, we got a calm oh, shot. On. What is that? <laughs> That's the same dialogue from last time. Okay, so again, this is the same one that she had before, but it does have a slot open. But I'm gonna keep this bit cluster because Ether Up Three is really nice, and that's not a gem that I I don't think that's a gem I have access to right now because we don't have like equipment. Uh, like, uh, you know, when we make them at the gem man stall, or, uh, uh, is that what's called? Gem man's... What is that called? The, the furnace. When we make them at the furnace, wh whatever it's called, when you make them at the furnace, uh, we, you need high level equipment. You need, like, uh, this, the crystals that drop, you need, like, high level stuff in order to make higher level gems, which makes sense, obviously. But we don't. I don't think we have equipment right now to make level three. We can probably make level twos, but not level three. I don't know. I'm not sure. And we got quark leggings. I don't think that's really gonna do anything for us. All right. Getting some items, which is really nice. Again, we need those to sell. Uh, so across here, you can see the Makanas. Uh, the red lights on the Makanas. So we know it's over there. But because of the rain, it's kind of creepy, right, to think it's over there. We just can't see it. So it's kind of like, ooh. Ooh, that's scary. Scary. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go up that path. I, I do want to know what's at the very end of it, but I'm probably gonna have this guy attack me. So we'll just defeat him. <clears throat> Again, uh, the, the thing uh, that makes this a little bit, like, harrowing being here is because we can't avoid enemies, right? In other you know, when, when we're on the Gower Plains, for example, we can just, like, walk around. We can we can walk around and make a, like, a, you know, we, we can, like, avoid them really easily. We can just take a wide path around them. Here on these, not so much. So if you're not leveled up enough uh, and you get attacked... Oh, there's a red item. Look at this. Oh, I have... Wait. Oh, I'm going the right way, so I want to I wanna go the wrong way. <laughs> oh. 
I'm collecting an item that I need f for the future. That's two Embligon turtles. Hopefully these will go somewhere toward helping the colony. Okay, sounds like we're going to be helping the colony in the future. I like these future visions. It's very interesting. We, we got introduced... Oh, we're looking for this. A Nopon coin. We got to bring that probably to that... Yeah, we got to bring that to that Nopon we just talked to. Uh, I'm going to go down below... Oh, almost walked off. Don't want to do that. Alright. Uh, yeah, so I do want to look at some of the items over here get whatever is over there you know collectopedia is really nice for equipment and getting gems and stuff so i like you know i like in games when they give you a dober corgi nice i like when they give you multiple ways of doing certain things right because we don't have to necessarily go to the furnace and make gems. Obviously, you know, you kind of should because you can get, you know, good gems and you can make the gems that you want to make, right? You can make them more sp like what you're looking for, really. Uh, but you can also explore and just collect items and defeat enemies and find landmarks and blah, blah, blah. And finish up Collectopedia pages in order to get, you know, new stuff that you can have. We got a Brain Rifle and a Jaguar Lancer. Alright, let's look at that. Keep on trying to... Okay, that's worse than what we have. And then the Jaguar Lancer is also worse. It has three slots. I will tell you guys it has three slots. But we don't have that many gems right now. Like, later on, as the game goes on, that might actually be a better thing. Because we'll have, like really good gems that we can slot in there and that might increase the stats like way up there so that it doesn't really matter what you have in there we got a large wind crystal so we can make some we can probably make some uh, gem uh level three gems out of that i'm guessing i'm not sure but that's okay because we don't have a furnace around and i'm not traveling back to colony nine we're continuing our journey and that's another thing doing the collectopedia means i don't have to interrupt my journey but if I have to go back to the furnace, it means that I do have to interrupt my journey. Which you should sometimes, you know? Because it's all about, like, you know, you want to do side quests and you want to be on top of that. Oh, okay, we have a nebula here. This is uh, Graceful Holland. So this is a named NPC uh, or, you know, enemy. So we all know that that's going to be a little bit stronger. So there's nothing up here. There's probably some there doing uh, daytime. Because I think it's nighttime. Yeah, it is nighttime. Okay. I'm like, there's a clock right there. It's that easy for me to look over and, uh... Nice, look at that damage. Look at wow, we're doing really, really well here. Air Slash. Alright, we get some good items. Oh my god, we're getting the same stuff. Dual garter. Uh, the one thing that kind of... It doesn't bother me, but I find somewhat sad is that there's nothing that I can do. So this is a more defensive weapon. If I'm look, if Ryan is like... Um, you know, dying a lot more. I can sacrifice some damage to give him some more defense but we're doing okay right now so i'm not too worried oh we have a big fly flying guy sky ro rogel rogel so he'll attack us if he sees us the issue with flying enemies again is that we as the swordsmen and the you know melee characters we can't really uh reach him but what i was gonna say is one thing that doesn't really bother me but oh god now we have to fight is that we can't get a weapon for Shulk, right? That's kind of something, you know, everyone in this everyone in this game is going to be getting new weapons and, new, you know, new equipment. He can still get, like, new armor and stuff. Just no, um, no weapon. And Though I do like the Monado. I'm a huge fan of the Monado. It's just one thing that I, I like that everyone gets new equipment. So I want him to get some new, too. But that's okay. All right, so here we are. We've made our way. The drainage outlet. Going into the mine, guys. Let's do it.
All right. Um, so where are we? Is this a new Collectopedia page? It is. So we're in the ether mine. Okay, which means new items to find, new things to explore. All right. This is cool, right? It gives you a little bit of a creepy vibe. Look at these guys. What are they? Colony Upa. They're like anglerfish, but they're like angler lizards. Alright. Uh, can we jump over there? I can't make that. How do I get over there? I want to get that item. Uh, do you want me to jump from here? Okay, I got a rubber mantis. All right, just wanted to collect that item. Let's go in here. We got some nopon hanging out. Drainage control room. All right, let's see. We have some merchants here. They're hanging out. We got a steady driver. Uh, nope. Army pike. Nope. Pelt cap. Okay, the pelt cap is better for. We don't have any money. See, this is why fighting is good. So, I'm not going to buy any equipment right now because we don't have any money. We just spend it all on getting our arts thing. Uh, that's why doing side quests is very important as well. Guys, kill the noise. A Macon. I can't believe they've taken the mine too. That means the defense force and residents are... Oh no, Juju! Keep it together, Sharla. Don't start panicking now. Ryan! You said yourself, they can't have seized the entire area, right? I bet you they're holed up someplace safe. Juju is alive, and we're gonna find him. That's why we're here. You can count on us. Yeah, yes. It'll be fine. Ryan. Shulk. Thank you. Alright, so the Mechon have spread into the mine. So they, they've they come pretty far into the mine here. Because we're like at the exit. But yeah, so uh, this is kind of cool, right? It's like moss and mushrooms growing. Uh, but we do have an ether deposit. So this is an ether mine. So we're going to find a lot of these, right? That That's kind of the whole purpose of this mine is to mine ether. All right, we got some enemies. We we're going to test pit one. Uh, okay, so these guys are scouts. So, okay, I collect an item that we need later. That's to... Yeah, okay. Some of our colony six. Uh, so he is just like a scout unit. He just alerts the other the other uh mech on around he he just he doesn't want to fight he just wants to let them know like hey there's enemies which is not good all right enchant nice oops i didn't mean to do that all right let's do that goodbye i destroyed one of them Gonna do a back attack. Oh god, he got like knocked all over the place. Alright. Let's see what items they have. Again, we're we're in we're in this mine, so we will have issues avoiding enemies. If we can take like a path around them, we can, but you know, we can try that, but you know, I like to just kind of go through and fight them all. Though I do want to look for items. Again, I want to fill out the Collectopedia pages as much as I can. Uh, look, it's another Crabble. This is a Junk Crabble. Who grabbed Mech on Armor. He's blue. I do, Yeah, like I said, I do want to find some... Uh, there's a bigger area up ahead here. Look, so as, we, as you guys can see on the map, do you see that area down there? That's the main area of the, of the mine down there. And we, oh, look at that! Oh, this is a secret area? That was the easiest secret area to get to, but it's beautiful. Uh-oh, we have a boss. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he's level 29. Run away! Oh my god, he's a crabble boss. He's coming after us. Run! I mean, he might just be a crabble, but he's probably gonna kill us. Alright, so the item that's there, we'll have to kind of forget about it. 
Uh, these guys won't attack me. But I do want that item. Aliyup. 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 Oh my god, stop crying. He's, he's stuck behind enemies. Yeah, he's stuck behind those crabbles. He's trying to get out. Okay, he got he got teleported. I'm like, Ryan, are, are you okay over there? Ali, you. Ali, you. Alright, go. Stop, stop. Just jump down. He automatically climbs. Just so you guys know, I, I don't have to press a button. He automatically climbs. And I didn't want to do that at that point. So, uh, items. Let's collect those. Another black beetle. Alright, these are all just crabble. All test bit three. Uh, what's in here? An item. Charcoal leg. An ether rifle. Gado. Charlotte White. <laughs> I know that voice. Medic, is that you? Ugh! A Theron! That's our cue, Ryan. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. And we, uh, we have a guest here. He's, he's, uh, he's a little guest, a friend. All right. Let's enchant these friends, these other friends. Alright, let's do a backslash on this guy. Bam. Nice. Nice job, Ryan. That's a lot of damage. Alright, I want to do a buster. I need to charge this. Alright, buster. Nice. All right, we gotta cool off. Okay, listen, you're stop talking, you guys. Ryan is losing a lot of health. How to use my light heal? Okay, Buster, to end this battle. Nice. Medic, why are you here? Sir, isn't Gatto with you? We have much to discuss. You'd better come with me. Sir. So, Juju has been taken by the bronze-faced one. Sir, what about Gatto? Gado is gone. Gone? What do you mean, gone? Gado and I planned a surprise attack to set everyone free. But we failed miserably. When I woke, Gado was nowhere to be seen. Only his rifle remained. But he is alive. I can feel it. We may not be joined by blood, but he's like a son to me. I'd know if he were dead. Oh. Some of the people in Colony 9 got eaten. Ryan! Sorry. I forget I said that. They don't kill Homs right away. If that bronze-faced one took him, we still have some time left. Are you sure? Boy, that blade was once Dunban's. I'm not sure why you have it, but we're going to need its full power. You can count on me. 
We're heading for the central pit. It's where they take all the homes they kidnap. If Juju's alive, that's where he'll be. Gather your things, we're moving out. Vision. Jojo! Gato! This is for you! You say something, Shulk? No, no. It's nothing. Forget it. That's one thing that's always bothered me so much about Car uh, Shulk as a character is that he keeps on having these visions, right? First, he doesn't tell Ryan about the vision that he has where Ryan gets killed, right? And then he saves him. Same with Sharla. He doesn't tell Sharla. And now with Sauron, he doesn't tell him either. And I'm like, please, can you just tell them? Like, they know that your powers are real. Like, they've witnessed it firsthand. So please use it. And he doesn't. And it's so, oh, uh, it's one of those things that, like, drives me crazy. Um, all right, so here we have a heart-to-heart. Uh, between Shulk and uh, Sharla, but they have to be like way friendly with each other in in order to, um, yeah, just uh, you know have that have that conversation. So she has a heat bullet now. Uh, Reduces the special issue that increases the tension of the party. Builds talent gauge. That's really nice. I want that instead of uh, metal blast because that's a, that's the only physical attack we have. And I'm just going to do all ether with her, because I don't care. Uh, and she has a ton of points here. Uh, again, I feel like it wasn't like that earlier. Let's level that then up. Uh, that's the first one. I kind of want to go with, like, what's the cheapest? And then just level that up. But uh, Tranquilizer is pretty nice, and she's pretty smart about using it. She will use that on enemies that we're not focused on, and she'll just, like, put them to sleep. Uh, the cooldown effect time. I mean, that's a long effect time. Let's do heal, uh, let's do cure bullet. Let's just do randomly, whatever. Uh, leveling anything is nice. Backslash just does so much damage. Look at that damage. I think that's the highest damage that we have. Oh, stream edge is really nice too. Uh, let's do stream edge. It's always nice to have that A uh, AOE air slash. Um, side hit does slow. That's pretty nice too. Let's level that up. I will level up some Monado arts at some point. Uh, hammer beat, um, sword drive. Look at that damage. That's just a pure damage. It's like one enemy, you attack it, but it does so much damage. Look when we level that up. Okay, we don't have enough to level that one more time. Okay, well, that was fun. Uh, Bill's talent gauge. That's nice. I always like when we can do that. Having a talent gauge high. Right, you, you want to have that, uh, like you want to fill that talent gauge a lot really quickly because it can help with reviving people, and then you can do the special attacks, right? The uh, chain attacks. So uh, we can go. So this is where we just—it's—it's uh, it's weird, right? Because I saw them walk towards this, and I'm like, where are they going? But it's like a secret little—that's where he's been hiding. The Mechon don't know about this little room here. This has been where he's been stationed for the last month because he is like it's like hidden. I don't know what the other side looks like. Is the other side hidden as well like that? Um Oh I can't I can't actually get out the other side. Okay. Yep, so there you go. So it's like a hidden little uh base that you know, it's been a month since Colony 6 has been attacked. So Thauron has been in here for a month. Oh skill is uh skill tree. Ryan learned something. Um, you got, oh, heavy equipment. Remember, we we're looking for heavy equipment for him. So we have that now. So I want to go back to the other one and then let's see. Didn't he have something that he could only attack if he could equip heavy? There's something that was only heavy. Remember that? Right here. Okay. What? Was I excited about wearing that? Because 
<laughs> That's not even good. So I'm like, mm. It just, ether defense goes down by a lot, and that's not good. I don't know. I mean, I can try it out. We'll see how it goes. If he starts dying a lot, I mean, it has strength up three in there, so that's really nice. Uh, quark armor is not that good, and uh, that's it. That's shit. Alright, well, I guess I got excited for that a little bit there. But yeah, it's nice for uh, the tank to be able to wear heavy armor, right? So that's more defense. Uh, let's look around here. So there's a little storage here as well that probably has, like, food and stuff that they need to, like, survive. Uh, what? Do I wanted to do something. Oh, collect a PM. I've collected so many items. I'm like, let's look. Well, look at this. We have a light bat. A black frog. Uh, a black beetle, a rubber mantis, and a mystery firefly. We finished up the bug section. And we got bleed defense. I feel like a lot of them are defensive types. I feel like we've been getting a lot of defensive. We have a charcoal leg, uh, a soft root, blackened from ether mines, soot, and machine smoke. Uh, solidified gravelly lumps of ether. The texture is too fine to be useful. Oh, okay. So this is like ether crystals, but they're like in like a pebble form, like really tiny, tiny little rocks. And we have a ready coil and a fire apron, a brawn. Charla named this deep red statue of an unknown subject. Ooh, that's interesting, isn't it? All right, here we go. Deeper into the mine. Hurry it up, slow coach. What's wrong? Jojo! Gado! This is for you! What can it mean? This is for you. Is Juju already dead? Or is he going to be killed? Is that why Atharon... But then, what does that mean? If we keep moving, is Atharon really going to die? No! What's wrong, Shulk? This battle is for my people. If you can't handle it, drop that weapon and head home. That's not it. I... It's just that... Out with it! Listen, maybe we shouldn't just rush in head first. What? We got this far. I think we should observe them and plan our attack afterwards. You insolent! We don't have that kind of time! You don't know a damn thing about these machines. I have observed their movements. I've planned this attack for a month! I know full well what's going to happen to my brothers and sisters. It's just... We're going! Fall in, medic! Sir... What's got into you? I... A vision again. Don't tell me another death. Yeah... I knew it. The shulk I know doesn't just chicken out for any old reason. This vision... Was it like before? Kind of. I saw an underground ether river. And a Tharon. Hmm. Huh. An ether river. You know what? That sword lets you see the future. All that power, and you still keep getting it wrong. Better to use my brain than my fists. Shulk, I may rush in head first, but at least my head's useful for something. Okay, okay, I get the idea. I ain't done yet. You're useless on your own, Shulk. That's why we're here. Ryan, I... Next time you have a vision, you tell us. We bear the burden together as a team. Ah. Uh. You have a vision you don't like, we'll change the future together. Got it? Got it. What was that? Say it like you mean it. I got it, all right? Next time I'll tell you. He's right, Shulk. You two saved Juju once before. I know we can do it again. I believe in you. Thanks. They're right. 
We'll change what happens. Anyway, I didn't see Juju and the others dying. There's still hope. Okay, so this is, uh, you know, as someone that, you know, I don't, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm taking, maybe I'm nitpicky again, but, you know, I like to point out the details and stuff. So, it's really strange, because when we had that battle at, at the valley, at that, like, spiral tower or whatever, uh, Shulk was all about, oh, I can change the, it, like, or I think that might have even been before that, where he talks about his visions to, I think I want to say Ryan. He talks to him, and he says... You know, I have these visions, and I feel like I have these visions because they're just a possibility of the future, of what could happen, and I can still change that. But then now he's sitting here, and he's just like, completely forgot that he has this conversation, that he already had this revelation of, hey, I, I can change that future. It's not set in stone. It's like a warning. That's what he said. It's like a warning. So it's like, dude, you've already had this. Like, you, you've already had this whole experience of, Oh, there are warnings. I can still change it. So it's, it's I'm a little iffy with certain parts, like this particular part. I'm like, eh, you know, um, you know. Again, maybe I'm just nitpicky. I don't know. Maybe I'm just nitpicky, but I just think that it's weird to have that. Right? They should have done it the other way, where it's like this conversation should have happened the last time before they had that last conversation, and then have oh, there's mining things below. Um, and then now have the conversation where he's like, oh, okay, well, I can change the future. Because that's pretty much what Ryan is saying. He's just like, well, you're useless on your own because you see these you see these um, things happen, but you, you don't have the ability to really change it on your own because we're a team. You have to work together for all of this. And he's like, oh, yeah, you're right. And it's like, oh, my God. It's like, oh, 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 we have a boss. We have a dark kinsling. Can we defeat him? He's two level. Oh, my God. Okay, so it's a boss. So, double pack. Oof. Alright, so he's looking to do a lot of damage to us. Nice. I'm gonna, like, let's focus on the other guys. I'm gonna heal myself, because I'm about to die. Okay, double pack again on me. Oh god, no. Heal me, please. Someone, no, I'm gonna die. All right, Ryan. Ryan didn't take the aggro, and he didn't. He and he didn't. Uh, no one healed me, so I'm just like, mm, okay. I'm gonna encourage Ryan. Go, Ryan. You're fine. Just do your thing. I'm gonna keep this for now because I'm gonna use shield if anything happens. I'm gonna try to use shield if he wants to use his little attack again. All right. Let's focus on this guy. I'm seeing something. Okay, he's doing double peck. That's fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna save her with the shield. Oh, maybe we can dodge. Oh, he's gonna miss. All right, let's do chain attack. Oh, wow, we're gonna kill him in one attack. Uh, sword threat does a ton of damage, but I can top. Let's top one. Um, mm, we're all pretty low. I know I should be using the thunder bullet in order because it does critical damage. But the thing is that I do want to use this for the whole party yeah so uh maybe that was a little bit of a waste but 
Alright. I'm gonna leave it to Ryan. Both of my side attacks. So, oh, we're ready for a chain attack again. Good. Alright, I'm gonna inflict break. Topple. And this time we don't need to heal, so I can use a Thunder Bullet. Bam! Bam! Nice. That was good damage. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And backslash. Nice! Look at that! Woo! That was a tough battle and we made it through. Awesome. And we got a bunch of items here and... We got that chest. This was a boss, guys. We're gonna get some good loot. Ooh, Empress Greaves and a Spit Cluster, and a, and some. Wow, we got a lot of equipment there. Uh, I think both of those. Oh, we got another Spit Cluster, which we already have. But then we got the Empress Greaves. Can he wear? Oh, he can. Okay. Uh, a revival HP up. I'm gonna give that to him. I'm gonna just focus. Wow, look at them. They look really interesting. Uh, I'm gonna focus on physical defense with him. I think that's what I'm gonna just. Because obviously, that's what a lot of these heavy items go for is like physical defense. So, infantry boots. M man, she's barely wearing any clothes at this point. It's like, can you put something on, please? Jesus. Okay, well. Okay, well, hopefully we'll get some new equipment at some point. All right, so that was a boss battle to behold. That was really good. So this is a very large fire fire ether deposit. And power's going to go out. <laughs> I love how that, that effect is so cool. Because you don't realize how bright they are until they go out, and you're like, oh, wow. Uh-oh. Got some mech on. Enchant. Aura burst. Don't jump the gun now. I don't know why they have that weird, like, ooh. The weird music. Because it's like, we're doing good. They have this like you're in danger music, but I, I I'm not in danger. Maybe it's the Mechon music, and I've just never realized it. I'm not sure. Oh my god, I don't really care to find you right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have that guy over here. So this was the other. This was the other. What? Who just? Oh, I thought. Okay. Oh boy. Yes. Okay. My God. Ah. Ah. Like break. You can top one. No? Okay. I was gonna... Alright. Chain attack. Break. Sword drive. Thunder bullet. So this is what team Okay, perfect. Nicely done. <laughs> They're just saying things. They're just like blah 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 and you're like, alright, okay, okay everyone, ca calm down. Okay, so we're going down the other path. Uh is this are these enemies? Test pit four. There's an enemy up there. Is that a is that a named boss person? It is. This is the vengeful Dalton. I don't want to face him, but I do want to get to that ether deposit over here. All right, look at this. This is an ice ether? Yeah, ice ether. So we have water and ice, or two separate things. All right, cool. We're getting some large crystals here. So maybe at some point soon I'll have to use the... Uh, wait, I'm confused. Where do I need to go? I'm going the wrong way, apparently. Uh, but I do want to see what's at the very end here. So, observation point... Uh, this is the large part, so look at this. This is where they're mining the ether. 
Look at the very bottom there. That's the Ether River. So our goal is to get to the very bottom of this shaft. But look at this giant cave. And we're going to be walking along all of those. There's an elevator there. There's a cave entrance there. Uh, we'll be walking along all of these different areas. Our goal is to get over there somewhere right now. Um, but yeah, I'm just wandering around, so <laughs> whatever. Oh, apparently we need this for a future quest. Peppa? Sounds like a nopon. A love crane. Remember, oh, we can we can actually already... Oh, we can go through here. Wait, what is this? Depot access lever? Oh, okay, so we open a door. I think that's an extra area. I don't remember having to do that, but maybe we have to do that. Well, look at me being ahead of the the, the crowd here with, with my... Yeah. Accidental doing something I'm supposed to do. No, can I get over there? Ah, uh, no. Okay, ow. All right, that's fine. We'll just. I'm gonna fall. Wait, wrong way. This way, and then to the left. Uh oh, Dalton is attacking us. Let's see if we can defeat him. I'm gonna heal myself. Brian is toppled, so get up, Brian. Okay, this is pretty... this is bad. Oops, I missed that prompt. Sorry, I was... I was looking... Okay, we're running. We're running. We're leaving. Bye, bye, Sharla. She's like dead and we're like, Okay, we're leaving. Bye! Oh god. Oh go. A uh, slow water? What does that... Uh, I guess they slowed me with a water attack or something. I can't collect... I, okay, we just prompted this. Alright. <clears throat> We're here, the central pit. Where are they all? I don't see anyone. We'll take that lift. I'm ready to mash some mech on. Yeah. Juju, a Thoron, just hold on. Okay, so I did have to open that door, because this was the door that we opened. Alright, so I was ahead myself. I can probably jump down there, but we'll take the lift, like she said. We'll just be good boys, and we'll do that. Alright, boys and girls. Or whatever other thing. I don't mean to offend anyone. <clears throat> Okay, so we're in the central pit level one, uh, and we kind of, uh, so we're gonna have to move across this drill, or whatever this is supposed to be, a few times, to get to, like, the other side, and then go down from there and stuff, so it'll be, like, a zigzaggy thing. Uh, we have these guys over here. Let's fight them. <laughs> Okay. Enchant. So they can do some damage here. So yeah, that that other boss was like too strong. He was doing a ton of damage. Our health was going down really fast. Uh, that's the kind of where I was looking at. Uh, like what I was looking at. That's why I missed that prompt. Because I was like, uh, I need to look at the health here. I need to see. And there's no way that we would have made that. So... Um, but yeah, sometimes that'll happen, right? We'll sometimes face enemies that are just too strong, even if we're like a level above them. Uh, but as you guys see, we get really good equipment out of them. We all level, so we're, we all leveled up. We're all level 23 now. No, I'm not attacking from the side, but that's okay. Ooh, we, we learned... So we learned Shaker Edge or something is what it said? Uh, let's collect these items. Oh, look at those two guys over there. Uh, Shaker Edge? Is that what it is? Uh, when did I get... 
Last Stand. Okay, first of all, when did he learn Last Stand? And when did we get this manual? So I guess you can find manuals as well from enemies. So he's learned another aura. He's learned... Uh... Oh, okay. I like that. I like that uh, Berserker is what? Auto attack my... Uh... Mad taunt, aggro increases, cooldown. So I'm gonna do that instead of like engage has an 85 second cooldown. So it's like I, I like the ones that don't have a lot long cooldown. Um, but it's interesting because can we uh, hold on? Can we level that up to last stand? I mean the cooldown is really long as well but it revives him so that'd be really nice i don't know we'll see we'll see how that goes and then we learned shaker edge so <clears throat> again this is one of those like yellow greenish looking ones that will if someone is suffering topple we can daze them which extends the uh the time on the topple and they can't move more anymore. And it does pretty good damage too. So we'll, we'll level that up a couple of times. Because that looks like a pretty good thing. We'll leave it off to the side there. Because I will only use it if someone is toppled. And we can try it out right now on these two guys right here. Uh, I'm going to do I'm gonna do a sneaky sneak. Bam. Look at that damage that I did there. Alright. Now we're going to do this. All right, enchant. We can do this. So he's toppled, and I'm now gonna do the daze thing. Boom! Look at that. Boom. Behold the power of the Monado. I know the camera is kind of sucky in this corner right here. I, I can't really do much about that. Stream edge. Wild down. Thunder bullet. And then I can do the Shaker Edge. And I can do my Sword Drive. Look at, look at that combo. Nice. That was awesome. That was really good. Ooh, Iron Leggings and Dual Garter again. Uh, Iron Leggings. That might be something. So those are... Oh, look at that. I know we have the light leggings that give us agility up, but look at this. This increases our defense. So we're going to do that. We're going to equip that. They look so funky. All of their equipment is so all over the place. I, lo I love that about this game. Because like I said, we can do the fashion. We can look at the appearance and we can make them look a certain way. But why would we? It's more fun when sh uh, when Sharla is barely, barely wearing any clothes and she's going to like heavy battle. You know, that's just the best. All right. This looks very mechonish, doesn't it? This whole machine, but apparently this was built by humans. Or hums. All right. So here we have to be careful because they these things can push us off. And then we'll fall to our death and it'll all be just disastrous. So let's not do that. I'm gonna attack these guys. Bam. Berserk! Okay, hold on. You can't do any. Yeah, there we go. I gotta do an enchant. There we go. Over here. So he got there. Now let's do this. Bam. Wow, look at that damage. Good job. And now backslash. And the end. We're really strong. Generic blade. I wanted to get... Oh, God. Let's wait for that. The pass by. So we get a little bit of a... This is like a... This is like a... Um, like a platformer, almost. To watch out for the things. We've already collected both of those. Uh, I can follow close behind on this thing. And then I should be okay, because that other blade is far behind 
Do, 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 do. Hello. I don't want them to attack me from behind as I'm walking and then get pushed off, so I'm just gonna engage them. Oh, I should have used Shadow Eye. I didn't use Shadow Eye. I can use Shadow Eye now. Uh oh. <laughs> Charlotte got pushed. I don't know if you guys saw that. Yeah. Leave it to Ron. Sharp as a nail. Alright. Go. Yeah. Whoa, that chest fell right on my head. Uh, I think what happened there, that chest, chest spawned outside of the range, and then instead of having a fall to, like, nothingness, they made it spawn on top of me. I think that's why I was, like, in the falling motion. Uh-oh. I can avoid that guy. Uh, but I'm gonna go down here. I think uh, we're pretty speedy. Like I said, his equipment that Shulk is wearing has a lot of speed. If you don't have a lot of speed, this can be a little harrowing because I don't think you can follow right up behind them like that. So, as you guys can see, they want me to go to the left because they want me to go down there. Uh, and there's an item on the right, but I do want to go down here on this side. I know there's enemies here. Uh, let's face these guys, but there might be an item over here. Or some, you know, some, something that's important. Some kind of item, or whatever. Secret, another secret area. I mean, that secret area was like so easy to find that we found earlier. I was like, how, how simple? Oh no, I got knocked down. I got toppled before I could use the buster. That's annoying. No, and I used that too late. Oh, so annoying. That did not work out of my favor, did it? Alright. Shop as a nail. Alright, Shadow Eye and Backslash. Boom. It's such a good combo. Alright, we might do Chain Attack here on the third guy. Let's do Chain Attack! Ooh, I'm gonna use a... The Buster. And a Sword Drive. Wow. Whoa! 10,000! Holy crap. Charlotte didn't even get to go. That's that's how strong they were. Alright. Getting some of that. Alright, pass over me so I can go to the end there. When I see those lights, I know I can go. Right, there's no more enemies. Ah, there's items though. Another love crane? Another fire abron, apron, or whatever. Ooh, look at that ether deposit. Is that an ether deposit in there? It looks like it. All right, let's get over on this side over here. And we have an ether, oh, that looked like, I thought that was a, like a nebula enemy, but that's actually an ether deposit in that corner there. I don't wanna fight you guys. I'm just gonna run them, ow. Shocker. Me. All right, is he gonna follow me all the way down here? No, okay, that's what I figured. Let's collect that ready coil. Let's collect that And that's where we're gonna end the episode So as you guys can see we still have a little bit little ways to go until we're way down in the bottom there Well, I mean not that many we have this level uh, Then we can go over there We can go over here uh, There I mean, it looks like a few, but there's a big skip. I think that area right there leads directly to the very bottom. Like, there's nothing else in between, or maybe it's that area, but one of them, and there's like a big jump to the very bottom. Um, so there's a few levels at the top, and then it kind of has like a break, and it jumps all the way to the bottom. So we'll be doing that next episode uh, with, uh, you know, the Vision and Shulk, uh, you know, uh, Thauron, like Juju, Gado all the people of Colony 6, like, what's going on? We we need to find out, right? We, we know nothing. We got no information, really. We just know that we're doing a surprise attack that Atharon had planned for, um, for, like, a month, and Gato has disappeared, and, yeah, so... Well, we'll find all that out next episode. Thank you guys so much for joining. Uh, I'm Arali. I do 
stream over on Twitch every Sunday and Monday if you guys are interested in joining me. And uh, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, I would really appreciate that. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next episode. Alright, bye guys.